The fourth M in our series is mutuality. The maturing of believers that we see in the scripture has a lot to do with the mutuality among them. In Antioch, Barnabas set an example for the church in his sharing of leadership. Instead of going it alone, Barnabas brought Saul from Tarsus to Antioch to help instruct the growing numbers of believers in the way of the Lord. Writing on the book of Acts in the Africa Bible Commentary, author Paul Mumo Casal perceives that Barnabas did not want to continue the ministry at Antioch single-handed. He knew that Saul would enjoy ministering there, and so he went to Tarsus to look for him. Barnabas was not selfish, but was willing to link others to his ministry. After finding Saul, he brought him to Antioch, where they both taught for an entire year. Even beyond the partnership of Barnabas and Saul, the sense of mutuality among believers is prevalent throughout the story of the church in Antioch. In fact, the text could be seen as giving narrative expression to words attributed to that same Saul, Paul, in Ephesians 4. In that passage, Paul names five spiritual gifts that the ascended Christ gave to his people for the purpose of equipping the saints for the work of ministry and building up the body of Christ. These gifts were that some would be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors, and some teachers. Together, these gifts work with each other as well as for each other. Without this relationship of interdependence and mutuality, the body cannot grow into the fullness of Christ.